Respectfully. As much as you may not have the followers on the gram, mm. you're definitely gonna have the followers from Fringe because mm. your posters are everywhere. Oh, we're trying, man. We trying. You're we're doing everywhere. Am I wrong? Oh, no, yeah, you say yeah, everywhere. They, yeah. everywhere. We did a photo shoot yesterday, didn't we, Michael? Oh yeah, most definitely. Man. I almost died, and Michael was like, "Keep, keep, yeah, keep." But he was, getting, he was getting the right angles. Was getting, he was like, I like the angles. The bus, is, Mark, the bus is coming. Yeah, the yeah bus but is just com- get this one quick. The sun's right. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's man, wild. Man, I know CPR, man. It's all yeah, good, exactly. man. So, <laughs> yeah, he's a doctor. Yeah, isn't it? That, is it doctor that. nurse? What is it? What's the actual official title? Nah, doctor, doctor. So that's it. Sorry, put my respect on man's name. No, 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 no. Dr. Okay. Dr. walked out. The clip off, you know that's all reality star. Uh, Yeah, the slow motion. You know the stethoscopes that will come off the head. Trust me. You know that slow motion, like oh, that was a hard surgery, boy. Uh, Trust me. Them ones. That trust me, daddy. Yeah, of course, man. A a few times. Sometimes it comes out hobby, but more time it's not. But sometimes it is. I got friends who who are in the same profession Mm. in like in America. No doubt. And every time I hear them speak about what goes on. Obviously they can't tell me details and names, etc. Yeah, yeah. But it can kind of give you a rough idea. Like I've dealt with a person who has had and then whatever it is. Yeah. It's the wildest stories you'd ever imagine. Like some really wild stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you got to be professional, man. Like what's what's a wild story? I had, I knew a guy who broke his ankle. I was thinking, right, like you always have to find out how something happened. Yeah. And he jumped out the first floor window. I said, why did he do that? So apparently the lady he was <laughs> going to sleep with. I was waiting. The, wait, wait, it's not a cheating thing. So <laughs> her man came back to the flat. So he had oh, to, okay. you know, make, make that leap in it. So, you know, make a leap. Obviously he broke his I ankle. I feel so. like, like, I feel like first floor. Yeah. First floor. I feel like yeah, I could firm that. that. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. if that was me. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah, but like, he's a bit tired. He's a bit, that must be the case. A Landed shaky, a bit yeah. off key. Yeah, yeah. he had no protein yeah. in him for certain reasons. <laughs> now, for me, if that was the thing, I would. You don't jump out. You you um you don't. You kind of like what? climb off the, the ledge and panic, bro. Yeah, who, who the panic? Oh, the, 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 I the, could the, panic, but I want to survive. You Lara Croft. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. You kind of you dip down and then you, bro. In any video game, X X X. Yeah, yeah. Bro, in any video game, you you hold on and then you let go. And then I you're landing like, right. He, 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 he was talking about getting, he's going to get his head kicked in. So he's like, look, I'm just, he's leaping. So he just leaped, broke that ankle, and then obviously that, he's Did you ask him if it was worth it? No, he said he'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'll do it again. He said he's got another ankle spare in it. I'm seeing her tonight. Right. I'm seeing her tonight. Right. Right. Yeah. You, he, she got a lift. <laughs> nah, that's wild. <laughs> Brother, you can't. If you if he if he sounds like he would do it again, at least go gym. At least go somewhere where you know that if he if the man does come in, it's either run if he is that big or if he isn't as big, you can kind of defend yourself. But that's, that's a vulnerable sure. state. I mean, that's, that's a vulnerable state, though. Yeah. You're, you're, you're I don't know. Naked, the, the don't sleep like, naked. If you when, once you've done the no, do, put your no. boxes on. If you know there's a risk of having to run out the window. <laughs> so wait, what was he wearing when he jumped out the window? Then? They, they're naked. That's how the ambulance found oh. it. That's how the ambulance found so it. No shoes. Okay, okay. No, that, that's that's the no ankle shoes. Naked. That's what you're thinking about. Sorry, the ambulance found him. So he he broke his ankle and just chilled. Moving it. Just chilled under the window. As they saw the ambulance roll up. What did the brother do then? Like, did he not come downstairs? No, 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 he didn't. He, did, he didn't get that far. He didn't get that far. I don't. How did the ambulance find him before the guy after? Could you jump out a window? I know, brother, I know someone's jumped out a window, innit? There yeah, is yeah, one is yeah, wide yeah. open. I come in there and the curtains are flickering, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the how does he not go down and. The sirens as well. Yeah, yeah, sirens, your house. How do you get there? I, I, I don't know Top if he rounds. made it clear to obviously what window he came out of. Obviously, it was the first floor window. Yeah. It? So I don't think that connection, because obviously it would have been more than one ankle, and it? Like, they would have injured. Still. All right, this side's not adding up, because where did he, Where if he had no boxes or briefs or no yeah. underpants, where's the phone to call 999? Oh, that that I don't know. And, that you, can't, I don't know. and you can't walk to a I telephone box. I see him in the, in the hospital, so obviously <laughs> it's like... You, did he have clothes in the hospital? Was he in a gown? Or it's not like you had this already prepared. No, 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 this ain't banner. I swear, I swear down, this ain't banner. True, true story. And okay. when you take a history from someone, obviously I need to take the you history pertinent to the medical situation. I can't be here okay. being the sort of gossip. Like, Fair dues. I can't be like, oh, so who was there? He's like, bro, what's this got to do with my Yeah, you're typing out, like, I might but use you, it. It has set. to be said, did it? But like, because it could be for legal reasons as well. They might have yeah. done something like, they might have attacked someone or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that's when police have to come and yeah, get no involved, doubt, didn't no it? Doubt. So you have to get all the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are thinking, it's a good material, you know? Yeah, like, no, 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 you no, are no, thinking. Always, that's always. Do you, say your, do you do your phone on record when you interview people? No, just in no, case no, there's no, anything, no, you delete it off. No, you like, that was shit. <laughs> You're like, I've got nothing out of that, man. That was a waste 20 minutes. No, sometimes if it's a good consultation, I'm like, they're like, thank you, Doc. I'm like, no, thank you. Thank you. Are you actually, can you use? You can't use names. I know. No, no, you can't use names. Can you use, because so, that someone could hear this and go, yeah. that was me. 
I think yeah, yeah technically ankle. yeah, broken ankle. Mm. Well, but if you see, but he wouldn't admit. But who, it, who's he? gonna admit that? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> that's the thing. Who's gonna come out and say that was me? But at the same time, <laughs> more time. Yo, if stuff, there's peace to be made, some people might do it. You know. Nah, but what's that's. Great, I can't believe it, man. He said we'll do it again. But anyway, I, um, I wouldn't. I, he's a madman. He's a mad. He said it must have been that good, man. Mate. I, I, no, mm-mm. no, no. Listen, maybe it was that good. Texas, I no, you, break and what, you should have asked him what else would you break. And just, yeah. <laughs> he's there next time with just neck down, just be like, I'll do it again. No, I will no. do it again, bro. There is, bro, and this is no disrespect to anyone out there. There is no sex that good for me to risk my life jumping out of a window and then go. You know what? One ankle's weak. I'm doing it again, and, and I'll mash up both. Came, he came like BBK from. He said, "I'll do it." There's none that good. If he do, does it again, up to him. If he comes into the hospital, again, if you no, if I see him, no, do people like that. If you I see say, him again. Yeah, I don't want like, to see you again. I told him on the road. I don't want to see you again. Like, yeah. And with the most respect, I do not want to see you again because it's 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 a, it's a fuckery. You can't be done. Does any <laughs> does any of this kind of go into your no to no, your that's, no that, that's, that's no material. That's just that's just a story. That's just a story. That's just a story. No material. It's not a joke. It's not a bit. It's just a true story. But it's not, a good feeling but, though. She. I feel like she should know that. I feel. Oh. Like, I hope he's told her. <laughs> Imagine someone saying that, uh, like I broke my ankle, I broke an ankle, and I break the other yeah. one. Uh, yeah, the pussoir was so exactly, good. Yeah, I'm willing yeah. to come back and just not walk again. <laughs> I just that's like, wild. literally change that's just change locations. But that, it must be the thrill that knowing that they can come back. That that's what all I can nah. think of. Why would you take that risk? Otherwise, it's the thrill, brother. You got you got if you're gonna do that, you got to find me a girl who lives on the ground floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's not jumping out the window. It's simply just walking out of the <laughs> walking probably, out of the yeah, bay yeah. doors or something. <laughs> Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> yeah. That's so wild. the girl lives third floor. You're like, nah, I can't do it. Nah, <laughs> man. That's like, there's, there's a, there's a. I can't remember who said it. It was a joke that a comedian says. It might be, it might be Shabba or Axel's. One of the two. I can't remember what, what it is. It might be Shabba. I think he is. Oh, I was gonna wrap my brain who it is, but he said a similar thing. But it's not about you living on the third floor. Is if what network, what phone network are you on? Back in the day, mm-hmm. if you give me a number, no, I think it's Booker. It's actually Junior. It's Junior. Yeah. And he says. Basically, let me get your number, 077. If it were like 079 or whatever, yeah, 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 which is yeah, yeah. T-Mobile, 077. Yo, this relationship can't even work. <laughs> and it feels yeah, like that's, that that's kind of vibe. thing to say. That yeah. That's a fucking thing to say. That's a fucking thing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, so, five day pass and that. Ali, you got your show going on, right? Now, yeah. we know he's a doctor. Is there anything that we can expect from your show at The Fringe, which might be pertinent to maybe your profession outside of comedy or before you did comedy? Well, I don't know if it's professional, but I, I I tell a story about I was sleeping with this girl and her husband just, came back and uh, again, I jumped out the window. This guy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it again! <laughs> um, yeah, but, um, he said he would do it again. Yeah. Um, no, 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 I didn't talk about my profession, but I talked about my real life last couple of years, lockdown and uh, yeah, yeah. With, with my friend and what we went through um, and sort of talk about the relationships I have with a lot of my male friends, not talking about anything serious, just chatting shit and how, where that leads to if you never, never decide to talk about anything real. Um, mental health stuff, bruv. It's deep. It's yeah, deep. I have to talk about mental health as well. I think all of us have to now. It's like, yeah. one, not even have to, like you're not, it's not like one of those things you, if you don't talk about it, your show's not good. Mm-hmm. But I think it's so pertinent to what we've had to deal with for the past couple of years. Everybody's thought about this. Part of your life, man. It's like, it's, it's, it's weird. But if you, if you had to break your ankle or something like that, like, <laughs> like you would talk about that. If you had your leg broken for six months and you were doing an animal show about your last year, you wouldn't yeah. talk. So, so if you had gone through some tough times, like you want to, people want to talk about that. And people want to hear about that. And it's okay yeah. to talk about it. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's it's stuff like that, but it's very silly and it's uh, it's a full stand up show, man. I was like, when I started, I was like, I'm doing a stand up comedy show. Yeah, mm. I'm not doing a comedy play. I'm not doing a stand up show for 20 minutes and then it becomes theatre. I'm doing yeah, a stand up comedy. There's jokes all throughout. It's 50 minutes of fun, so come down and watch mm. it. First one, like first hour. First hour I've ever done, yeah. Sick. So and your first hour as well, isn't it? Yeah, debut, baby. Debut, Sick. Debut. But it's, it's, you know yours. It's my first, my first day, it's my debut at Fringe. Fringe, yeah, right, right. Right, but it's not my first hour. Yeah. I've been I've been anti Fringe for so long. Yeah. So the long. The hairline problem with it, I can't even talk. It's better. Why are you why laughing? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm with, I'm with an airline. I'm with an airline. Why? You have no right to laugh. I'm with, at no, this. I'm with an airline. Is that what? Yeah, I'm with yeah, an airline. I didn't yeah, say yeah. hair. Genuine. Yeah, I thought Michael, I missed Michael, the Let's not have disrespect. You, respect you know exactly no, what he no, said. No, no, no. I thought I said that. That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> you know no, exactly no, no, what he no. said. No, no, no. I thought uh, airline. I said what? Um, I got easy. So why? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was interested. I want to ask. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm for against the weather, but I was interested. Why were you anti-fringe for so long? So 
I'm anti fringe because. All right, let me let me. I have to be clear on this. I said this in an article recently, but I when I kept trying to type the response to the interview. All right, all right, your big deal. We get no, it. Sh- we, I'm sorry. How oh, much, let me refer, see the followers on Instagram. One second. It. Let me just quickly <laughs> yeah, see the followers. None of them read. None of them reads. <laughs> Let me see none of them read. They like yeah? the wigs. <laughs> they like That's all it is. They like the wigs. <laughs> How many wigs you got already? Bruv. Are you taking this seriously? Bruv, I ain't got no wigs out well, here. That's why my followers ain't up in it. 110k. Boy, are you serious? 110k. The wigs are wow, well, that one, that big Goldilocks wig there is real. That's a good one, not gonna lie. And bruv, it's not the wigs, it's the shirt that I know that you bought for yourself, but because you cut no the shame. bottom off, it looks like it's a blouse. I've got no shame. <laughs> That's a serious shirt. That. You, you, you've rocked that. It looks like a dress. <laughs> You're taking that to show. Bro, bro, that what? looks like a dress, doesn't it? Bro, I know, I but I know it's like, a shirt. He's in corner shop with that, man. I know for sure. Cargo and all them things there, man. you got to love how you have got, they call it ginger, strawberry blonde, or whatever you want to call it, colour here, and the hair is completely dyed blonde, and you didn't change anything on the nah, hair. Nah, nah, nah. So the contrast is that. wild. They don't need that. But yeah, when I was so when I was typing to, to this article and saying, look, mm. this is why, I had to be careful what I said, because every time I was typing, it almost came across like I was saying, I'm anti Edinburgh. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm anti. I don't know. Um, anti. What would you say? Um, the comedians doing shows up there, or anti doing shows, and it's none of that. It was none of that at all. What I was anti was the whole industry kind of vibe of you come up here as a rite of passage, like you have to come up here to be seen mm. as a comedian, and I'm not. I'm not for that. For me, there's so many ways to get into comedy mm. and there's so many doors that so many of us hadn't had the opportunity to go and do. I've been doing this 12 years. I remember when I started to go into like a comedy club, you have to do an open mic, mm. which is fine. So they can see if you're good. And if you did do well, they'd wait until, especially someone like me or even you as well, mm. right? What would happen is, all right, he's a guy, he's cool. He's a black guy. We've already got one black guy on the bill. When we don't have that person booked, we'll get another mm. one in. Mm. So it'd be like a one in, one out policy. Mm. And when I see that stuff, which is very industry based or has been for a long time, I'm, of course I'm going to be anti it. So I'm like, any way that you can get in your own way, do that. But then when I came up here last year, when they had no fringe, it was just the giving people kind of times that if you want to do a show, you can do. Yeah. I came up, I did like free shows mm. and then jumped to doing a couple of other shows that they had like at Assembly Gardens and so on, right? I got, I fell in love with the fact that the audience were just loving this vibe of comedy at any time, any place, yeah. contemporary. And it was that that made me go, I want to do a month for this. Not mm. for the industry thing. I don't, I'll be honest, we all would like to know that our show is good. If I get reviewed and everyone goes, your review is amazing, great. If like the reviewers yeah. go, not feeling your show, great. Do the audience love it? Mm. Do the crowd mm. like mm. it? Mm. And if they do, then I'm happy. And I feel like that's what it should be because it's too much gatekeeping with with any industry you go into. And I feel like with Fringe, it's been either gatekeeper-esque, not by the people that go and do it or so on. It's all the people that that kind of, like the reviewers that go, my review means something, which it mm. does to some people. Mm. But if you come up here with the attitude of, you could do what you got to do. I'm still going to just do what I want to do and be mm. happy. Yeah, no and you get reviewed and it's good from that. Then you've come up here for the right reason. And there are some comics that I know that will dedicate their time to come up here. And they're like, if I don't get reviewed minimum five stars or I don't get nominated, mm. they feel like they failed. But the audience have loved their show. I'm trying not to be that person. Yeah, I think that's you the right what I'm way. Saying? That's the right way to go about it, man. Because you can't, you can't control the action of others. Mm. You can control what you do on stage. And Facts. hopefully with that, the audience like it. And then that's your bit done. Exactly. Everything else is, as you said in that video, it's mm. above you. Yeah. So, Bro, what video was this? You didn't see I just 100k above it for me. <laughs> so, unless you're pointing out content, you don't watch your unaltered video. It doesn't come up in my algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gets my nerves sometimes. Ever since he blew up. Ever since he blew up. What's this video? I'll be honest, I don't know which one, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to think, I've said something above me. 100%. Which video have I done with something it's above, above me now? It's, oh, 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 um, there was a post. <laughs> <laughs> He gets it now. Oh, oh like, my God, you're an idiot. <laughs> it's, a it's the lookalike, isn't it? Yeah, it's the lookalike, yeah. There's a guy who does this thing, like, it's above me now, right? Um, oh. He's like, he's singing. Oh. So it was basically oh, like, no. so it was like some viral video, an American guy. He's, he's, he's in like hotel. singing and talking at the same time or something. No, no, there's this lady that's getting onto him, like, that's it him in the, the, hotel. the hotel. And yeah. he's, yeah, you're an idiot for that. Your memory is fantastic. <laughs> Basically, there's this guy who goes, he's above me now. There's a woman who's hassling him and he's like the receptionist and she's being rude, proper Karen behavior. Mm. And he's like, 
it's above me now. I'm sorry. Mm. Like it's been elevated somewhere else above me. He said it's my video because I look like the guy. <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. You know that. Your memory is too good. Do you know what pisses me off as well is there's so many lookalikes I get, and I have to agree with all of them. I can see. Yeah, I see that. I see that person. Who, who else? Do I? What I know? Um, the guy on the Apprentice. apprentice Aaron, yeah, Aaron. Aaron from the Apprentice. Yeah. I don't watch the Apprentice. No, to 110. You should be the in the Instagram game. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. And the thing is, shout out to Aaron. Me and him talk. Right. Me and him are cool. We oh, connected. Because Aaron, 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 you look like each other. Yeah. Aaron Willis, <laughs> me and him talk on socials loads of times saying, yo, when you're up here, we're linking up. We've well, got to do a video. Wait, where'd you base in the north? Or where's you, where's you base? He's, um, I, can't, I think he's Manchester. Okay. And I've been Manchester several times to do shows yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Leeds. And Leeds is only, what, 45 minutes away. Mm -hmm. He's like, when you're up here, shout me. Bro, I remember when The Apprentice was on, people were sending me pictures saying- Nah, nah, what's that serious? And I said, this bro, guy, is this guy related to you? with an accent, that's what it was. Is this guy related to you, Whoa. right? I don't see it, but other people nah. said they could see it's it. It's the face shape though, it's the face, it's a little bit of the face. But do you know the wickedest thing is? I don't is? think he looks exactly like you. Do you know the wickedest thing is though? He looks like Curtis Walker, right? Do you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, for, this guy don't know anybody, hold on. I need some honky names. Who's one Honky names, oh my God. <laughs> who's, who's Curtis? <laughs> o OG of the of the comedy scene. OG, oh. right? Have you seen Bullet Boy with Asha D? <laughs> <laughs> I can't and even and say have you seen Real McCoy? He would not have been watching that. Yeah, I, 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 that would be the funny one where he's like, oh, I did see it. I've actually yeah. heard of Real McCoy. Oh, is it? Sketch show, predominantly. Probably talk about, probably talk about the crisp, innit? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, love McCoys. <laughs> this guy. Flame well, grill snake. So people, people think that he's my dad, because we, we both do comedy. I look like him, apparently. I don't see it, but apparently it's how also I present myself on stage. Mm. It's that Have kind you of- with him? Yeah, loads of times. Mm. It's that kind of aggression of attacking a joke, but with, hey, ha, uh, that kind of loudness that you can get to. Are you not aggressive? You're I'm not, you know what? You're I'm just a teddy charismatic. Bear, yeah. Always like the most charismatic yeah, but yeah, some, on all that right. entire circuit. Do you know what? You may say that, but to some p person sitting in the front row, big black guy, charismatic, loud, that can be quite intimidating. Right. Right? I just, I guess I'm just not racist like that. Yeah, do you know what? <laughs> but you don't know no black yeah, names. It's fine though, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know Aaron? No. I know, do you know Curtis? No. no. Walkers, all the crisps, bro. I know all the crisps. <laughs> right. Bro, this is, the one, this is the one that I've got the, the, the wildest and I can see it. When people say I look like this what guy. What does he say? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he doesn't say anything particular, but he's, he's a song, singer songwriter, right? It was, I've had people say I look like Saucy Santana. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to Google this you, guy. You didn't have to laugh that hard. So you could, you could laugh. <laughs> Ali you, need to share this you didn't have to laugh that hard. That is nah. And the worst thing is when I look at his face and the facial features nah. he's got. I got it here. Look, all right, you ready? <laughs> Saucy Santana. <laughs> Hold on. Ori. You can Ori. I, bro, there. there. <laughs> Stop, <that> picture. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. The bad. worst thing is, is I see it. Bad B. Yeah. I see like, it. I, like, I see the face. It's bad B. Yeah. It's, a, bad it's a little it's bit like your brothers and you went into two different parts of entertainment. Yeah, and little, yeah definitely. He's, he's a chart topping artist. Yeah, fair. Yeah, he's out in they, ATL, isn't it? They do I it. I think so, yeah. Yeah, ATL, yeah. <laughs> Brother, when, I, when someone first showed me, I oh, think, Saucy shot. Santana like running around in, in some video where I think he's just in a club and he's just gone, yeah, and just run off, right? <laughs> it's an old video on socials and, and people kept tagging me, Ori, is, is that you? I said, no. <laughs> Out in the States, double life, innit? Bruv, I'm here. Like, double you just, life. Obviously I'm here. And as, I may look like him in the face. I don't have, this, Saucy's had, <laughs> had a BBL, right? <laughs> Do I look like I've walked, to, I've, I've got myself a BBL? So B no, B no, no, is a butt. It's a butt it's Brazilian a butt. butt lift. Wow. wow, wow. If you want to get one, do your team. I don't want to get one. Then. But apparently I look like Sorry, I already have had one. If you want to get one, with are yeah, we'll behind you. You, you like, know what I mean? No pun intended. I, 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 know, I know some doctors in it. They'll give you a good deal. <laughs> I, I bet you do. But yeah, I've had a few people that say I look like Saucy Santana, Aaron Wilson. Um, what do you get, Mike? What do you get? Yeah, who's your lookalike? Uh, well, someone came up to him yesterday. 
Who, who's that? Remember that white lady that. Oh, yeah, she yeah. didn't have a clue, man. She nah. said, Were you in a circus in 2019? I said, What? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, What? No. And then he went to what? I was shut the fuck up. I was trying to be a stand up comedian. Were you in the circus? circus? I, like, no, I said, Not with these knees. <laughs> she came up. You know, not when someone. Yeah. You know the way people come up to you sometimes, sometimes they're like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I might be getting this wrong. Where she was just like, I know you. Thanks. She Straight. came up to him, yeah, I know you. Yeah, you, confident. And she's like, you were in a, the circus, weren't you? Oh, and Mike nah, was, I was wondering if I'm going like, was I? <laughs> just, she rude. was so confident. When they're so confident, I start questioning myself. Like, what? Wait, maybe I was in the circus. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've had that before. Where, you, where someone says, no, I saw you on this show. And you have to remember, like, have I, maybe was I in the audience, in the crowd or something? And they're, they're so convinced. Mm. I've had one recent. I'm like, I'd, I'd, are you the guy? Are you the guy who just won uh, Britain's Got Talent? Oh, yo, yeah. bro, I've had that yo. several times. Now, remember, me and Axel are brothers. Yeah, yeah? no doubt. People used to get because we used to do comedy a lot together. Our rises around the same time. Mm, mm, mm. People used to always think of us as like when you see one, you see the other at yeah. shows, mm. particularly with like the shows we used to do. Mm. So I get that if you got us confused in that sense. Our names both begin with A. I don't know, same age, black brothers. Mm. From that angle, we don't look alike at all. No, no, no. But. Both of us now, I mean, his trajectory has gone on BGT yeah, and he's, he won. So you would recognize his face. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I look yeah. nothing like him. Yeah. So yeah. If, to come up to me, go, you won BGT, didn't you? I've had lazy, that a few man. times. That's mad lazy. You're lazy, yeah. Lazy, that's lazy, lazy, but that's what people do. That's what people do. Who do yeah. you look like, actually? Well, I, I've, so football terms, it's the closer I get is Mustafi. Shakodra and Mustafa. Oh, Arsenal. Awesome. Yeah, okay. So, but he's not really relevant. Okay. I'll tell you what's annoying. Different yeah. tone. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different shade. But shades, different but shade, yeah, but yeah. I can see the face structure yeah. in that. You guys are racist. And the but beard I, the, and stuff. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> because, like, we recognise your tone's different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't even comment. <laughs> Bro, you but do, this is the guy I get um, as well on, on, on TikTok. This guy who's got like 180 oh, followers on TikTok. Oh. And what's annoying is like, so what's annoying is that people come up to me and they go, do you do TikTok videos? And I'm like, like guilty. Yeah. I'm like, guilty. guilty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, sorry. And they're like, oh, you're so funny. I'm like, and then like, I'm like, yeah, I know, I know I am. And then they're like, oh, you do like the working from home stuff. I'm like, that's not uh, me. But I, I'm too guy, deep. I'm too, too deep, deep now. Yeah. So now I'm like, yeah. You can't just, no, I'm the other guy. And then I say some you really can't homophobic, say anti-trans stuff. So they stop following him. Is <laughs> 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 that a sabotage man's TikTok? Exactly. What's exactly. your, wait, hold on. He's got 180 something thousand. What's Whatever, yours? who cares? Similar, no, but, nah, similar, you ain't got them numbers. Similar, you similar. must not have them numbers if you're getting upset by the fact that people similar, think you're here. Similar, similar. I'm What's on yours? I'm on see. 80, I'm on 80, similar. Yeah, what's nah. 100K, what's 100K? No, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not on 100K, Bro, on TikTok. 100K 80, 83, 83. 83K. So he's got 100K <sighs> more than me. That's what's annoying. Cause they come up and they're like, you do, do you do TikTok? I'm so gassed. I'm like, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah it's not Glad either. you enjoy it. Glad you enjoy it. It's for you. It's for you. Do you know what 100k is on TikTok though? Or, to, or any show? No, 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 no. It's, it's a lot, man. It's Bro, lot. it's it's you can put up your show yeah. and don't have to worry about and don't pay promo. Yeah. yeah and yeah. people are buying tickets because the, 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 like they thought when you got people that this is why back to that like anti Ed thing I was talking about. Yeah. This is why for me, when I see people do Ed and they want the love from the industry. Yeah against the others that build that up themselves. Like I've, this is, this will be my fourth tour hour that I've done. Sick, I yeah. toured it before I did Ed. No so doubt. it's already done four tours. And it went when, great, you said, yeah, yeah. Oh bro, it was sick. Yeah. When you are able to put on your own thing and then not have to go through different channels to try and get it done. Yeah. Even if it's a hundred or a hundred thousand people that come to see you, they're yours. They're yeah. yours. They're real fans. Bro, mm. look at you in the, and, and, um, and the pod, right? Uh, all I do is fail. When people listen to that and you say, we're doing a show, come out, check us out, we're going to be here. Those list that's you directly to the yeah. listener. Mm. They're yours. Mm, it's mm, the mm. best feeling when you got that. And if it's only 50, 150 or 500,000 people, whatever the number is, when they're yours and you know that you filled up your room with your people like no, that, yeah, no doubt. bro, it's a feeling. So yeah. that 100K, we might laugh at you for being bougie now and being Mr. Like social media celebrity and Mr. Influencer. But bruv, that is... That's dope. No, of course, no, man. That's, that's, that's why we're in this. So we can put on a show and say, mm. look, we're doing a show at X Place, buy tickets, and yeah. people come. That's it's dope, bro. That's a what commodity, we're bro. For. We're, we're doing all these different, we're jumping through all these hoops, <clears> doing all the little games that they want us to do just so we can get to that point, isn't it? So if you what, get to that point already, then... What was your moment that you were like, video, and it went, boom? What was the one for you? <coughs> I, I, I had two. The, the, fir the first one was seeing the power of TikTok was like, I did a random TikTok video... And it got like 
150k mm. but i had no like views that is and i had like no followers and mm. i was like this is sick i'm going viral this is mm, wicked mm, 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 mm. so that was the first little step you know that first time you do a gig and yeah. you get laughs and you're like i'm killing it but everyone's looking at you like <laughs> yeah. you, you you got three good laughs in five minutes that yes. is not enough yeah. um, early days isn't yeah it? exactly and then and then a couple of weeks later i did a video that went proper big on instagram and that was the one which was like it's just silly relatable stuff like it was just, that was the one which was just like um Oh, everyone's saying it gets dark so early now, isn't it? In yeah, November, yeah, yeah, everyone, yeah. Because everyone just people everyone repost that. that every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what's nice about it. Mm. But but that that got up to five point seven million views, considering Jeez. I had about two thousand followers at the time, or whatever. Sick. And then that Jeez. went up to. So that was the first moment I was like, "This can be real, a real thing." And then, Sick. but you know what? I was still like uh, so green myself and plug for your show. Um, <laughs> About like I walked out of that my house when that went viral. I mean, like everyone's gonna recognize me. This bruv, they don't know who you. This they is don't. Awkward. This is all. You know, you know like, it's two D, bruv. <laughs> it's two D in it because they see you like this. They're like, but when they see face to face, they walk past and go, "I've seen that guy somewhere," and they carry on. Exactly, they carry on. But also, people scroll through like they don't. As you're talking about the yeah. followers connection that people have with you, just because you have one video go viral, like we've all seen videos on mm. Lad Bible, whatever they get reposted mm. everywhere of some random person like falling over into a puddle or something. You're not going to like now recognize that person. You just scroll past. Yeah, but you right, need to yeah. build a connection with Facts. people listening to your podcast. Shout out my podcast. All mm. I do is felt. You need to build it by checking in on your story. Like, you know, people who watch your story every day, they're catching up with you. They oh, buy wow. tickets to your shows. There's they're the couple, people who recognize you proper. Mm, mm, mm. A couple creepy ones. I can't lie. The mm. ones that every story post I put up, they've got a reply. Wow. At, like, and it's. Sorry about that, but I was just trying to like. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, is someone who's is, I was I, just saying boo. I was just I'm not even trying to put that. Bear tomato like, emoji. Slagging him. I was like, congrats on BGT, you know? Like that was sick. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's not it's not always negative. I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's never negative actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pe it's people that I have to train my mind to remember this from when I did radio. No matter how much you think you're not doing anything big, you're somebody else's everyday go-to, yeah, right? No doubt. So they they tune. Like, I did breakfast radio on um, when I was at um, Bang Radio, which is now called the Beat London. When I was there, bruv, I'm there every morning. I forget I'm at somebody's drive every morning yeah, so in their head yeah, exactly i'm their celebrity where for me i'm nobody blood i'm just a regular guy doing radio but and to that were. person yeah not anymore uh, bruv i'm not doing radio no more so yeah i thought we were gonna try to give you some props <laughs> yeah, there i was exactly. i was i and was then you took it back I that's was, right now but every, every morning they tap into you and they're like yeah you're ori and i'm like but who's ori the same with mm. you. They'll be like, they'll tap into you. They'll tap into you. They'll watch your stories every wait day. For you to like connect, bring me into this social media stuff. In it, I mean, the questions have <laughs> yeah, been wait for all you directed. to bring yourself into it by yeah, posting all, some all directed bro. that way. Bro, and you I'm heard like, him. Get some wigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, I need that. I'll keep. I'll keep one for life. Does <laughs> <laughs> anyone who needs a wig here? This room? I, I had no, one. No, That's what my lab Bible video was. Oh shame! I remember you got. Oh, bro, that was wild. Yeah, that was fun, man. That was a head mess, blood. Yeah. Yo. I'll Forget what I was saying. That that video where you where you FaceTimed your friends, innit? Yeah. yeah with yeah. like a new turkey. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, with a serious thing. Yeah, they, they went, oh, I felt like a new man that day, man. I walked out of the Bro, All right, be real. Would you, uh -huh. would, after getting that fake wig and then tricking your friends with that mm. prank, would you get it done? Nah, the, it, the maintenance is too long. Yeah. Like, I'd rather do go do the surgery. If I was going to do something, I'll get the surgery and get like the actual transplant where you, they move the hairs and that. Oh, it's mad when I've seen, but they get hairs from different places. Yeah, yeah. Well, wherever, wherever Brother, good. No, yeah, I like, heard they get hairs from, from like your bum cheeks in that. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I heard they get hair nah, from your they, bum they, cheeks. They, they, they hairs, those hairs are too curly, so obviously. Oh, he's done his research. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> he's made an inquiry. <laughs> those hairs are too curly. So it's gonna they said I couldn't get those ones, man. Why are you? I can't. I went there with a sample. They didn't want it. Yeah, yeah. Brother, <laughs> we're black. Ain't the curly hairs the ones that they're supposed to be trying to get? No, but obviously they come back on themselves and like all dogs and that. So, but, but Gab Gabrielle from Arsenal's got a little thing done recently. Mm. Yeah, uh, Rob Holden had a thing. He's one. Brother, I'm not. I'm not on it. I don't. But no, but it's not. It's not something. I've Wait, considered. come closer. Just, I'm yeah. not. It's not. It's not something I've considered. But if I, I do something, the transfer. But now. 
As I'm building my brand, people recognize me with this. Yeah, it is part of your of image. So if I was so to go- So you're a handsome guy, you work it fine, man. Yeah. You don't need the hair. You got yeah, the right yeah. head shape for it. Yeah. Some people can't rock it. That's true, man. Some people that's can't true. rock it. Cesarean so. birth, innit? Oh, is that what happens? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why they did. Because yeah, when you when you when they push, it's just when it yeah, that's when they that's when they mold like okay. you need, wow. need to go to their doctors that born them and be like, no, nah, you fucked me up. And <laughs> <laughs> I got bullied at school See, for years. Like, like the coneheads. Yeah, it? that's it. Them one with the with the hook at the back. Oh, yeah, they're man. They were struggling to get out, so they did. That's the fingers round. The fingers round trying to get the head out. Yeah, that's bullying. How many years of bullying? All right, so the thing is though, you're you're the guy with the hair. Um, no, sorry, the the no, the bald head and mm. the big beard, mm, mm, right? Mm. You get, like that's your thing because yeah. there are there's a bag of men with bald heads, you yeah, no doubt, right? Like um, I know Darren's got a Darren Harriet talking about black men with bald heads, but right? he that, that's intentional though, and he's doing that actually young thing, right? Oh, oh yours he? isn't intentional, bro. This is genetics, man. Okay, I thought it was like maybe you maybe you can still let it grow out and it's just not how you want it to be. It, it, and you, it's, it's, yours it's, it's, is it's like no, it needs to go. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't like if. Depends if I find a barber in time. In two weeks, come find me. <laughs> two weeks, come find that me. That might be us in Edinburgh, you know. Yeah, I might have to see. Sequel. I might have to get you to come back later on and let's yeah, see what yeah, you say. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll with come a hat on. You don't want no one to see nothing. <laughs> it's just a mess. Yeah, isn't suddenly it? he's got merch. Why do you have merch? <laughs> no scrubs hat. Only hats. <laughs> <laughs> Only be- beanies, <laughs> beanies, beanies, caps, snapbacks, whatever you got, man. Can we get t shirt? No, no t shirts. Nah, 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 nah. Bucket hats. hats, I've got snapbacks, I've got like, woolly hats. Only caps, only caps. I've got Russian hats, yeah. blood. Anything yeah, 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 you want, yeah, yeah, I've got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just try to keep that head top covered. Brother, that could be a thing for you, though. Like, your thing is, yeah. like, you play on it that your thing is hats because you got a bald head. That could be your. That could be your. Yeah, if your you, it's all about leaning into it. Like, I'm, I'm not fussed about. My hair loss, and I accepted it a long time ago. I didn't know it was no, lost, though. No, That's the thing. Yeah. When you talk about on stage, I just thought he's being hyperbolic. He's probably oh, just not like yeah, happy nah, about nah. his hair. And nah, 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 nah. It's, just it's proper. Nah, the, I, if I brought all my brothers here, like a lineup, it's like, do you know uh, the evolution? You see the man from the money, <laughs> just all of us in a line, just different stages. Oh, wait, wait oh, what really? stage? So you're the final stage? No, no, I've got a younger brother who, ah, I don't want to put his business out there, but he's going through it. So, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's going through it. So, but how, actually, how old are you younger? How old? No, nah, he's younger. He's uh, 26, he's 26, oh, yeah. So, yeah, man. And you're 20, 27, right? 20, 28. 28. Brother, so imagine two years ago, going, not to change yeah, up your brother yeah. or anything, but tw- imagine two years ago, like going through that. Yeah. No, it's tough. I had a, I had yeah. a mate who went bald at uni. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, starting yeah. to go at 18, and by the end of uni, he was. Bald. That's what But I then he got wham. He got big in the gym. Oh, but yeah, it yeah, works for you. Got yeah, you, you, got, you got to compensate Bulgarian, somehow. He's Bulgarian, so he's got the whole sort of like. like yeah, like, yeah. Hair, hairless, huge six pack, boom. Like, just oh, yeah, so that works for him. That's how you overcompensate. I think a lot of us as men do that. When we're lacking in one thing oh, brother, yeah, you brother for me yeah. brother, you're, you're, brother, look at the, the job that you got i'm not saying yeah. that's what you overcompensate <laughs> <to do. laughs> bro, 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 you, <laughs> oh, that, i'm bald so let me become a doctor <laughs> the only reason you're a surgeon is your bro. bald <laughs> if you had a good hairline you'd be picking up trash on the streets sweeping <laughs> That is hilarious. So it good. could be though. It could be a thing where you said, "You know what? I gamble from young, but I'm gonna make these guys like me somehow." <laughs> but for me, when I was younger, I was not. A, I was not attractive at all. I was round. I had a bean head. I looked like I looked like the Halifax guy Yo. from when I was about ten years old. Oh, and I had wow, round dude. glasses, Howard's. a round face. His name Howard. Yeah, Howard. Yeah, him. Yeah. I looked like him from when I was about ten years old. Howard Styler. Try no. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> Howard Styler. That's the name of this podcast episode, actually. <laughs> Bruh, from young, I, I look like that guy. Yo. And for me, uh, I knew that the way to kind of get to be cool is either you be attractive or you be funny, right? Yeah, from you yeah. get to your teen years, mm. be attractive, be funny. You can't choose the first one. Now you've done, yeah, yeah. you done both. I'm trying it? right now. Yeah, yeah, that's why I've grown into the Halifax. Again, again, we'll check in in two weeks with both of you. There's no bars. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, brother, you see me in two weeks. I have the, I'll have one of his merch no, hats on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, I'll have one of the face masks on. I'm just saying I'm, I'm trying to stay protective. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to get rough over the next two weeks, man. I'm going to find a barber up there in will, Edinburgh. There, Surely there's there one. There will be one. It's yeah, of course. There's a big city. There's a bunch. Bro, there's a community of so many, like Asian, black, like mm. all sorts like uh, from this that are in this city that would have to get a barber that can cater to their type of, of hair. Course, yeah, we'll no find doubt. somebody. No, no, no we'll find you're fine. We'll find somebody. <laughs> yeah, my, you're all right. Cow, cow I'll, I'll again, go it, yeah, yeah, but it's ginger. So that's your, my in issue. fact, your home, your family is Scottish, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Is my mum, my mum's. Your mum from which part? 
Glo- uh, well, near Glasgow, so Airdrie, Coke Bridge. Okay, it's here. not so about half an hour from here. Oh, half an hour is that Coke it? Bridge, yeah, it's towards to gl- you're going towards Edinburgh. Okay, so it's kind of it's closer to Glasgow, but between the yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you're home then. Yeah, you're yeah. home. Well, yeah. Well, I've also I've been here a lot. Like I was filling um, mm. Mike in sort of places mm, to tour go. Tour guide yesterday, man. Food Just stuff us and everywhere. All that stuff. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's like I. What's good is that I can walk around Scotland. People that just think I'm Scottish. Yeah. One time I watched Scotland versus England. It was during Edinburgh Fringe, and I was in Edinburgh, and I just pretend I was Scottish in the pub to watch it, and it was fun. accident that's and everything. Safe. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Let's hear it. I want to hear yours. I was just like, like can I have half paint, and then that was it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got we got to practice this, and then I want to mess some people up. Okay, go go on, say. Can, can, can you say this one? Are you ready, mate? Can I get some uh, tarty neeps and haggis? Tarty neeps and haggis. Well, I need to get on that uh, Rosetta Stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's English. What's wrong with you? No, no, but the accent, the accent. <laughs> I need, I need to, hold to say it to me. Tarty. Well, I can. Tarty neeps and ha- only, haggis, neeps and tarties. Bro, the only the Scottish that I know in terms of the accent uh, is Glaswegian, mm. and that's only from watching the movie Filth. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I've seen that. Yeah, that's, oh. a, that's a grim. Ah, oh, it's a bad man film. Yeah. Um, my guy plays um, McAvoy. huh? Mac- yeah, McAvoy, James McAvoy. He plays uh, oh, yeah? Professor X. Oh yeah, yeah. He's not Professor X in this. No. Oh, he's the other way around. It, oh, for real. He's he's one of the best actors he's in great. this country, right? Yeah. Definitely one of the best from Scotland, hundred percent, because of his range. He remember he Professor X, yeah, very yeah, kind of very like bougie, posh, mm-hmm. intelligent. He goes to filth where he is literally a man who is breaking down scumbag. mentally scumbag to the core. Mm. And then you see him when he's in um when he's in split, mm-hmm. when he has to yeah, carry all, all those the, characters. All the, yeah. Brother, he's one of the best well, actors. That, that's that's going. what we want to see from an actor, isn't it? Trust Range, me. Isn't it? But watch whilst you're up here, yeah. he's gotta watch filth. Because you're in watch Scotland now. Yeah, no. Whilst you're up no, here, no, oh, you see you seen train spotting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's that level of kind of scumbag is like the most famous Scottish. Like Edinburgh is very posh Scottish. Yeah, so it's, mm. Edinburgh is very definitely. nice when they talk to you, and it's all about neighbor bother, pal. Okay, go down. Very the road. nice people up and here. Then, yeah, you know, that, I was speaking to some of the flyers yesterday. They're like, oh, you got Glasgow, man. Got Glasgow. Glasgow's proper, a little is a bit is a lot more authentic in terms of it being like, like, Scottish it's bit, culture. It's a, bit, it's a bit more rough and oh yeah, especially and if you go a little bit, I stayed in Paisley once. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. I will never go there again. I will never go there again. So I did um I did a set of shows in Glasgow and the guy who was running it booked a hotel. It was in Paisley. Well Glee. Uh it was Glee. It was we did it. No, it wasn't Glee. This is when they um when they had um Junglers in Glasgow, but I can't remember the name of the venue. Mm-hmm. Right? It might have been where Glee is now. I cannot remember where it is. It's so many years ago. And it wasn't for Junglers, it was for the promotion that was doing the show. First, I remember going up here, first time coming up to Scotland, especially, and to do comedy at the same time as well. I come up here and do not threw me off because it was a predominantly Asian audience. I was like one of the only people non-Asian in here. Mm. Predominantly Asian audience. It was like a, a Desi Central show. Yeah, yeah, no so I'd go, and do the sh- uh, the, I'd go and do the show. Bruv, everybody in the audience is Asian. They come out and they're speaking to me. Right, pal, you was yeah. dead. F- I can't do the accent, yeah. but it Wait, so threw they, me they, off. They have a Sri Lankan yeah. accent, you said. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how I sounded? <laughs> right, pal, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, think, I think we do Bro. that for as Londoners, though, isn't it? Like, like we're, we're ignorant. Seeing, seeing a black Liverpudlian, there's a there's a guy on TikTok who's quite popular because he's black and Liverpudlian. Yeah, and everyone's like, everyone gets. Oh off yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen you talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, the thing is, I'm, I, I, I'm used. No, I'm used to other British accents for everywhere right but predominantly i would say going as far north as yorkshire right Mm. when i see other people from other cultures with that but the scottish accent across the board we're talking no let's just go with glaswegian Mm. the glaswegian accent is so distinctively different and scottish Mm. right as opposed to you thinking it's just another part of england Mm. right even though it's a british accent when you see someone who looks like me and you do it there was a, for a while I'd go, okay, and then I would it digest. Took a, it, a, to, yeah. it, a it took while. a little bit because there's a part think of someone me. else is talking. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's an now. ignorance I had. This is in my twenties. Now it's normal. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. but when I was first coming up here, like to do comedy, like for these shows, it would take a minute because the thickness of the accent as well. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't hear me with the accent. I know I sound like a Londoner. That's yeah, yeah. that's where I'm from. Because we, we're led to believe London's the default. Yeah, yeah that's the, the same way that, but the people up here as well will believe that their accent is the default. Because when we, when I talk to my friends in different countries, bruv, the most ignorant is when I talk to my friends in New York and they hear my accent, 
Like, you got an accent. I'm like, bruv, you yeah, have yeah, got an accent. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yes, you do. What do you think you sound like? I yeah. sound normal. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah. And I have to try and break it down to them. What language do what language you speak? I speak English. Where do you think come from? England. But you are from America. Yeah. You're speaking my language with a different accent than the English people speak. You have to kind of train them to believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, it's, it threw me off for a bit. It's but... It's, you get after but it's a all while. about representation and stuff yeah. like that and familiarity. Well, yeah, I said that wrong, but like if you expose yourself to those people, sort of people, you see them on sort of TV. Like the guy in sex education is it NQT. Yeah, yeah, yeah of like course, that. yeah. So people like him, you see them, then you understand that stuff yeah. like that's normal. The brother in um, Good Luck, Mister, um, oh, he was in he was in Peaky Blinders, mixed race guy. And he's in Good oh, Luck, Leo Grande. Leo Grande, yeah, yeah, Good Luck, yeah, Mister, Good Luck, Leo Grande. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, him. He's Irish. Yeah, that right. was it's threw me off at first. He's, of yeah, he's Irish. Well, yeah, because my, my girlfriend's Irish and, and she introduced me to her mate and he's he's black and he's dark skinned as well. So it's not mm. like he's like mixed away or anything. And he's just got thick Irish accent. Yeah. And he's one of those where I similarly I was like, wait, you have that? You, like, you, that, yeah. That's, but, then, but then you're like, oh, okay, okay, just yeah, adjust. Yeah, in Dublin there's a funny. huge Nigerian massive, community. Massive, yeah, 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 massive yeah. African community. Look, look at Love Island, Dami, Nigerian Irish. Yeah. Oh yeah, of know? course, yeah. And the year before that, oh, her name has escaped me. But uh, she was Nigerian. Mm. Well. On the reverse, have you seen the? <laughs> have you seen the white dude who lives in uh, China and he's a kid and he's got like a Chinese English accent, bro? It's so funny. Oh, well, well, have you seen the video? So like it's a sweet. viral video. Yeah, yeah, and people thought he was taking the piss. Yeah, people thought people he was, thought it was being. Yeah, 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 his, yeah, his yeah. accent. People thought he was racist. Bro, if you look him up, right? If you type in white man Chinese accent, right? Yeah. I'm gonna find it as well, actually. White man Chinese accent. He. People thought he was taking the liberties right like so he was funny. actually going over there and just mocking these people oh, he so wasn't funny. you're right he was genuinely being serious that is how he's acclimatized to the environment because he's lived there for yeah, so many course, years as you would do brother it was wild it's, i gotta find it's it so mad. it's wild but i'm um, that bro my, i've got family in jamaica who are who like married in who are asian and we're not just talking asian as in uh, southern asian but um East, East. Yeah. bro. There's a massive Chinese in community in Jamaica. A massive mm -hmm. with Jamaican accents. Yeah, thick wow. Jamaican accents. That's so bro, cool. All right, you see, um, what's her face? She passed away recently. She was in Desmond's in the EastEnders, right? And she was Jamaica. She's Jamaican. Ah, oh, it's so bad. I've forgotten her name. Hold on. And I posted up about uh, oh, it's so bad. And she was in um EastEnders for a little bit. As soon as I show you who she is, right, you're gonna go. You're gonna know exactly who I'm talking Coronation about. Coronation Street House. Mum's from the north. Coronation Street House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then that makes sense. Yeah, EastEnders is too southern, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me find... Here we go. Mona Hammond, that's it. Mona Hammond, her. Okay. Bruv, Mona Hammond. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. She is, uh, I believe her... Uh, Jamaican British, right? She's yeah. born in Jamaica. I think it was her father got, is... Ethnically... Is Chinese. Chinese, yeah. I'll show you. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Her father... Yeah, her father was Chinese and her mother was Jamaican. But they... Well, she's Jamaican. Uh, yeah, her mother was Afro-Jamaican, yeah. father was Chinese, but they both born and raised in Jamaica, yeah. Jamaican accent. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. very common thing. Very yeah, common yeah, that, thing That's what, obviously not to rehash, but obviously when there was that fallout from that Channel 4 discussion mm. uh, with White Yardy and uh, oh, how yeah. they felt in yeah. free, there was a, a lot, I read in some of the comments, a lot of Jamaicans were saying that it's a very ethnically diverse Normal country. Thing. Uh, There's Caucasian, many white, Asian, Asian, all sorts that have a Chinese, Jamaican accent out there. Loads. Like, so. And as you say, it's representation as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. Different, different, mm. uh, whatever your heritage is and wherever you grew up, it's all okay. Where, like, it doesn't have to be like a strange thing. Or the, the, first, um, the first Caribbean takeaway, don't quote me on this. This is what I grew up knowing. I think it's true. The first Caribbean takeaway in the UK was in Halsden. Oh, and yeah. it was Mr. Patty's. And Mr. Patty's, and Mr. Guy who we, everyone called Mr. Patty, because I grew up in that area. He, Chinese, Jamaican accent. So he'd come over from there to here. Married, he's married to a Jamaican, well, he's passed away now, but him and his wife, um, Jamaican Chinese, right? So both of them are Chinese, but raised in Jamaica. Come over here. Kids, Chinese, English accent. You'd never know that his, that kid's culture was Jamaican because yeah. he looks Chinese, sounds English. But yeah. if you ask him where his dad's from, Jamaica. But he's just right. Chinese ethnicity, yeah. but his um, Chinese race or ethnicity, yeah. but he's his culture, born and raised yeah, in Jamaica. Jamaica. That's yeah. mad, Brought the it? first Caribbean takeaway over. He, let me find out what, what year oh, it was, but years serious. ago. That is that's serious. what I'm saying. 
it's a normal thing. So for me, yeah, I do. It, it would take a minute. Oh, the Mr. Patty's Halston. Yeah, it would take a minute for me to adjust if I if initially my my like oh, we used to initially I'd be like, I remember I'm where I am now. I think if I'm in like if I'm in London and then someone comes up with a thick kind of accent which is different from where I'm like where I may assume you from, mm. that's where I'm like oh. And it takes a minute. But up here, oh, yeah. bro, I expect everybody. Yeah. It's weird. I hear someone in the shop um, in, um, I think it was Bruhamia. So not a shop, in the, in the, the bar, the bar yeah, Bruhamia. Yeah. Um, There's a black woman that was working there. I think she was either serving or she worked on the door. And she came out. And I was half expecting to hear uh, a Scottish accent. Mm. I think her accent was just English. But I think she probably came up here for uni. Mm. And stayed or something. Or maybe moved up here to get married or whatever it was. But she... she it had. surprised you that it wasn't Scottish. Yeah, because of where yeah, I am. I've yeah, told yeah, myself yeah, everyone's yeah, going to sound yeah. like they're Scottish here. Yeah. So it threw me off. Yeah, it's... Um, so they told us to go back home. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would do that, yeah? <laughs> Scottish or none? <laughs> Hold on, here we go. Uh, Mr. Patty passed away in 2012. Yeah, he was, of course, talking about the father Roy. Da, da, da. Here we go. It was kind of so ingrained him to Brent for the past 40 years. So 40 years he was in Brent in um, Northwest London for in 2012. And he had owned that shop for near enough most of that time. Mm. Yeah, so here we go. Born in 1934 in Kingston, Jamaica and of Chinese descent, Roy Lu Fong came to England in 1960 after a stint of working for electrical company. And he brought over his wife. Yeah, he set about bringing to life his dream business with his wife, Cindy. So yeah, the here we go. Eventually due to popular demand, the pair were able to open their first shop in 1972. Ooh. First Caribbean takeaway, bruv. 1972, yeah, bruv. which is early when you deep it. Mm. That's before, like, I think a lot of British people even accepted Caribbean people. But because Wait, maybe it was Chinese. 1948, so. No, but when I say accepted, I'm I talking mean, like, like, like. Yeah, like socially. Yeah. Socially yeah, accepted, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 it took for like Desmond. It took for like yeah, nice, Real yeah. McCoy. Nice, it took for nice. them kind of programs before people could even see an insight into our culture because they were in Middle England and then Desmond's would be on BBC. Mm, mm, Do you see mm, what I'm mm, saying? Mm, Roma mm. could be on BBC. That's when we'd be like, oh, is that, so is that why, th that's why their food tastes good. <laughs> that's why it's spicy. Oh my God, the chickens are different color than, like, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, where yeah, I think yeah. the insight came from. Before they really had that acceptance of understanding, that's, that's why they wash their food mm. and so on. Respectfully. Respectfully.